Next, the magician will perform a mind-boggling illusion using these two boxes. As we can see, both boxes look like small chests, though one is larger than the other. One wonders what treasures are contained within. They're too small to hold as assistants, so it's a safe bet there's a different kind of valuable inside. He opens the smaller box so we can see that it's completely empty. Maybe the treasure is in the bigger box. How about that? A chick. Not exactly the type of chick he usually employs, but we'll see where this trick goes. Watch. The magician places the baby chick into the smaller box. Then he shows us that the large box is empty. No more chicks. The magician reaches back into the large box and pulls out another baby chick. Amazing, he just showed us that the box was empty. But that's what magicians do. He carefully places the chick into the small box to be with the other chick. As we all know, chicks like to hang out together. He reaches back into the empty box and removes another baby chick. And now he goes back for another. He finds one. Another chick from an empty box. It's a treasure chest after all. He places this one into the small box with the others. Must be getting crowded in there by now. The magician goes into the empty box for yet another. It seems like he could go on like this all day, if we let him. The bird goes into the small box. And now for more magic. He opens the small box and it's empty. The birds have vanished, incredible. Let's check the big box. It's empty too. The magician can make them come and go at will, just like the big chicks. So, how did the magician create a seemingly endless stream of baby chickens and make them all disappear? The secrets are concealed in the boxes and this table. When the trick begins, the magician takes a chick from the big box and places it into the smaller box. Here is the first secret. There is a hole in the bottom of the box and the table below. But then how did the magician show us the empty box? Concealed inside is a false bottom that's hinged to swing up, revealing the hole. This stick, mounted on the table, keeps the false bottom open, allowing the magician to access the hole. So when he puts the bird into the box, he's really reaching through the hole and placing it in a receptacle that's concealed under the table. The big box is constructed with the same setup, a false bottom above a hole in the table. When he appears to pull the second bird from the big box, it's really the same baby chick. But how did it get from beneath one box to the other? The secret here is controlled by this hidden pedal. Built into the leg of the table is a line that operates a spring-loaded mechanism that's connected to the secret receptacle. These backstage angles show how the magician uses the pedal to maneuver the receptacle. Here's how the chicken goes for a ride. Here we see how the chick is moved from beneath the small box to the big box. 
This creates the illusion that the magician is removing many chickens from the big box. When he takes what appears to be the final chick from the big box, he places it in the receptacle where it waits to be removed later. The magician is now free to show the box empty. And that's how it's done. You'd have to be a bird brain to be fooled with this one again. <laughs>